Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Once upon a time, back when Lou Ferrigno's Incredible Hulk was the big thing on TV, the rage, you might say, Marvel Comics was starting to sweat because there was a chance that the show was going to eventually introduce a female counterpart to the main character. If some kind of She-Hulk was introduced on the show or a spin-off movie, then she would be CBSE's property. Marvel was so desperate for ownership of Hulk, but woman, that Stan Lee and John Buscema put together Savage She-Hulk No. 1 in 1980. How funny it is that decades later, Marvel is introducing She-Hulk to the Marvel Cinematic Universe via a TV show. She-Hulk, Attorney at Law will be coming out this August with 9 episodes and, looking at the trailer, it gives us a comedic, albeit down-to-earth look at what society is in the MCU. So, who do we have breaking through walls and whatnot in this take on the law in a superhero world? She became the mighty Titania and it wasn't long before she was one of She-Hulk's go-to opponents. She-Hulk and Titania are briefly shown battling it out in a courtroom, though it'll be a while until we find out why. As for the non-powered civilians to show up in the trailer, there's nothing much to say. Characters like Walter's friends Nikki and Amelia appear to be original creations for the show. Though I think it's somewhat notable that one of her dates is played by wrestler David Otunga. It's a cameo that gets a mild chuckle out of me considering Otunga is also a jacked lawyer.